Hello. So we're going to do a little tutorial about using some props to do a pranayama practice. Now, the reason we use these props is mostly because everybody has some tightness across their chest, partly because of how we live, what we do, you know, if you're at the computer a lot, or if you're driving a lot, or if you just have tension, it creates some contraction across your chest, right? And you can do an asana practice ahead of time to try and help open up that space to relieve some tension for better breathing. But for the pranayama practice, you can also use some props. So if you have one of these handy dandy bolsters, they're very nice. They're also very expensive. So they're like 65 bucks or so the last time I looked. Um, but super helpful and last forever. If you don't have one of those or you don't want to buy a big one that you're going to just put in a room and not use except for yoga, there are some other options. So this little pillow is filled with barley hulls. And so it's super sturdy. It's like the Zafu or the little cushion I sit on in the studio. Um, but it has some give and it can have, hold its shape a little bit. So it gives you some sturdiness for the practice. Another option is just a big bed pillow that's pretty sturdy. You could do the same thing that we're going to do with the bolster you could do with a big bed pillow as long as it's nice and sturdy. And then the final option is you can just take a really big bath towel, a bath sheet, and if you roll it up so that it's like a big long tube, you can create kind of like we have at the studio, those narrow bolsters that we have, this can be super handy to put along your spine just to give a very slight opening across the chest. So whatever you have, you can use. But for this demo to begin with, I'm gonna use this big bolster. So for the bolster, one of the things to do, some people like to push it right up to their back and then lie down so that it's supporting their lumbar spine as well as their upper back. If you have low back problems, it may not be the best bet. Our big goal is to open up across the chest. Now, again, I'm gonna say the Iyengar people are brilliant. They have a whole science for all the supporting and the yin folks also really great at creating all the support that you need. So this is just a little highlight what I know and what works for me. So anyway, so instead of pushing the bolster all the way up against my low back, I like to move it just a little bit. So I have a little bit of space between my low back and the bolster. So it's really aiming at my thoracic spine. So when you use the bolster, the idea is to find that place where your upper back can be supported, your arms can relax toward the floor. So you get a little external rotation. And then there's opening across your chest for breathing. Now, for me, it's very comfortable to keep my knees bent in this position. But you could also just stretch your legs straight out onto the floor. And some people even just bring their, the soles of their feet together like Supta Baddha Konasana. So this is one option. And what you can do here is just take a minute to set yourself up, set your timer for your breathing practice, and then give yourself a little space to breathe here. Now, it doesn't have to be a formal breathing practice, but this is really nice if you're gonna do like five or 10 minutes, finding a place where your body feels supported. If you notice that you're getting compression in your neck, again, a little towel is handy because you can just create a little fold in the towel or the blanket to give you a little extra cushion under that cervical spine. So your neck is supported, your back is supported, your thoracic spine is supported so your chest is open. And there are even some people who put cushions or blankets under their arms because their shoulders won't open up this far. You play around, you find the space that you need so that you can just do a simple, simple pranayama practice here. So enjoy the bolsters.